The southern border tonight, Title 42 expiring overnight last night at midnight. Tonight now replaced by sweeping new rules for asylum seekers. An estimated 10,000 migrants crossing every day this week. And tonight, it's not just the governors and states on the border, but New York's Governor Kathy Hochul is now asking from the federal government. ABC's Matt Rivers in El Paso, Texas for us. Tonight, the border bracing for what could be months of chaos. Title 42, the Trump era health policy allowing the quick expulsion of millions of migrants is officially over. Hundreds, if not thousands of migrants that were camped out by that border wall have all finally been taken in by immigration officials. But here on the U.S. side, so many migrants have crossed that authorities simply do not have the capacity to hold all of them while asylum claims are processed. The burden in part falling on border cities like here in El Paso, 1800 migrants crossing here yesterday alone. We know that uh, we still need to prepare for the unknown. Today, the Biden administration saying the surge is not as drastic as many predicted. We did not see a substantial increase overnight or an influx at midnight. Cities around the country fear they don't have enough resources to provide for migrants. The Texas governor sending migrants to the vice president's house in Washington, D.C. And it's not just states along the southern border feeling the brunt. This bus arriving in New York City this morning. Governor Kathy Hochul calling President Biden, asking for federal help for shelters in the city. Complicating things here on the front lines, a late night ruling by a Florida federal judge. Border Patrol agents now not allowed to release migrants without a formal notice to appear in court. Uh, the practice of releasing uh, individuals when our Border Patrol uh, facilities, when our Border Patrol stations are overcrowded is something that each administration has done from administration to administration. This is a harmful ruling and the Department of Justice is considering our options. Back in Mexico, we met Venezuelan migrant Santiago Volkova. His mother drowned in a Panamanian river on the way north. Es un homenaje a mi mamá. Finishing the trip is a tribute to my mom, he tells us. Santiago spent a week camped at the border wall. And today, our camera's rolling as Border Patrol took him in. There he is, in the yellow shirt. He'll either be admitted or deported, waving to us as he walks into an uncertain future. But David, I think it has surprised many people here that the immediate spike in migration post Title 42 was not nearly as bad as many as had predicted, but that does not mean that all this is over. Authorities are uh, predicting, uh, expecting remarkably high levels of migration to last for a period of months, something multiple officials at the border this week have told us is simply unsustainable. David. All right, Matt Rivers reporting again tonight from the U.S. border with Mexico. Thanks, Matt. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.